guys, welcome to another video. So today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Subculture Palette. It's going to be a voiceover and it is only going to be over the eyes. It's not going to include my face routine or my eyebrow routine. So yeah, if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to prime my eyes with a concealer and set it with translucent powder. The first color I'm going to go in with is the shade Destiny, which is the olive green. Whenever you're using these shadows, you want to pack on little by little. They're really pigmented and uh, yeah, so just be careful whenever you're packing it on. Start out in a small area and then slowly begin to buff it out. Next, I'm going to go over that with the shade Dawn to buff out the edges even more. That way it looks more blended. Then I'm going to go on top of Dawn with New Wave. That way it adds a little bit more warmth to the eye because I don't want it to be too cool toned. You want to go in with a light hand with these shadows. Now to start the halo effect, I'm going to add Destiny to the inner corner of my eye and blend the two together, kind of connect them at the top. Then with the shades Untamed and Axis, I'm going to mix the two and put them in the same places as I put Destiny. Just a little bit lower and then I'm going to buff it in. You're going to spend quite a lot of time uh, blending with these eyeshadows. I honestly don't mind putting in the extra work. If you're trying to do a quick look, this is probably not the eyeshadow palette that you want to go for. Next, I'm going to take some concealer on a thin paintbrush. I'm going to start to cut out where I want to add the shimmer shades. I guess it's kind of like a cut crease. It's You have to do kind of an odd shape. You always want to start the curve line on the top and kind of work your way down like a like in a tornado shape. And then you slowly want to blend out the edges of that. On top of that, I'm going to add the NYX Glitter Glue. Next, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette in the shade Dahlia. I'm going to place that on the outer edges of where we cut the crease. After that, I'm going to take the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow in the shade Telepathy. It's like a nice chartreuse green. I'm going to pop that in the middle. Next, I'm going to take the shades Axis and Rowdy, and I'm just adding Rowdy to make it a little bit deeper. That way I can blend in the blue to the green. I know it, I feel like I don't make sense, but yeah. And I'm going to go in with a liquid eyeliner, which I believe I'm using the Milani liquid liner, and I'm just uh, adding a thin line. Pop on a little bit of mascara, and I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and be right back. I'm going to take the ColourPop Swerve eyeliner, put that in my waterline, then I'm going to use the same lashes that I used in my last video from the Wish app. Honestly, I can't put these lashes down. They're just, they're like the perfect lash for whenever I do a dramatic eye look. For my inner corners, I'm going to take the Aurora Glow Kit and get use the shade Helia as an inner corner highlight. And here's the finished look. That was everything for this video. All the products that I use are going to be listed down below in the description box with links. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I just want to give a huge thanks to my subscribers. We finally reached um, 500 subscribers and that really means a lot to me, especially since I'm not that good at consistently posting and I haven't been posting that much. I have like, what, 15 videos out? <laughs> Make sure to follow me on my Twitter and on my Instagram, which will be listed here on the screen. That's everything. I'm going to go ahead and wash this makeup right off and go to bed. So I'll see you guys in my next video.